I'm going to show you how to use the different buttons on the Galaxy S5 to get around and use your phone a little bit better and faster. I'm Josh Smith with GotToBeMobile.com and the Galaxy S5 has a physical home button that you can touch once and that will take you to your home screen. If you're in an app, it will take you back to your home screen or just bring you that main screen. If you hold that button, you get access to Google Now. If you double tap, you get access to S Voice, which provides Siri-like features. Now you have a back button that you can use if you're on a web page. You can hit back and it will take you sometimes back one page or home. Various things will happen if you press that. Now if you press and hold this, when you have multi-window mode enabled, it will bring up this small bar over here that allows you to use multi-window mode. And you can close that by holding that down. You'll notice it disappears. On this side we have a multitasking button. So we can see our different apps if I don't want to use one. I can swipe and close it. I also have access to some different settings information down here. I can see my active applications. And if I want to go to settings, either in an app or on my home screen, I just hold down the multitasking button. So when I hold that down, I'm now on the settings for my home screen. If I go into something like Chrome, you can hold this down and I'll get some different settings. It's the same as if I were to press this button up here, the three dots, but I can use this button down here. You have volume and power buttons that operate just as you would expect. You can head over to gotabemobile.com and check out more about the Samsung Galaxy S5.